Hey guys, welcome back to Cultivation with Christy. I'm Christy. I was not going to film this, I was just going to do it and knock it out, but I wanted to tell you what I was thinking with these pepper plants. So, I know not all of these are peppers, but these three trays are. So this is going to be the sweet pepper bed, this is going to be the hot pepper bed. My thought is, if I'm going to try to save seeds this year, if a hot pepper gets pollinated with a sweet pepper, the sweet pepper next year will likely be hot. So I'm going to put each variety in a row going this way if I have multiples. So one of each variety will be along this edge and this is the row I will save seeds from. Smart, right? I'll see how it goes. Here I go. Also, let me tell you, it is April 27th. I'm already getting eated. And it's windy. Like, how are they finding me? I don't understand. Dang mosquitoes. Hey guys, welcome back. Obviously, it's late in the evening the next day. It got way too dark, way too fast for me to show you what I had going on. But let me show you now real quick. So, I got in all of the peppers first thing this morning. So I ended up doing the different varieties on these two rows because I had too many varieties. When I have more varieties over here, I think I have 10 peppers over on this side and the five eggplant next to the carrots. So these are all sweet peppers nestled down in the straw, which I watered and moved. Anyway, they'll get big enough here soon. And then these are all hot peppers nestled down in there. And again, it's late in the evening, so they get the overhead sun. And then I also planted some more seeds. So I put a nasturtium down here in the potatoes because I figured they would like the shade. I planted a zucchini here, more nasturtium here, and I put one more down here with the trellis that doesn't have anything on the other side that has the beans. And then there's one more, oh no, there's yellow squash that I planted here. There is a cockazelle squash, kind of looks like a zucchini there. I got my melons. What else did I do? I kind of flittered, flitted around today. Um, and then Adon burned the holes in the in-ground section, so I have a row of different okras. I've got the crimson red, I mean hill country red, motherland is these two, and then the crimson spineless is there. Then I have mammoth sunflowers, then I have a variety of different little sunflowers there. I've got Lincoln's cucamelons here in the corner, and I got another cucamelon there. I've got the big Pennsylvania Dutch crookneck squash there, and then I planted seeds for the red kari pumpkin there. I put two more spots for a watermelon, but I got this watermelon here. I'm going to see if he does anything. And I may just let him grow out of that spot right there instead of trying to transfer him. Because I still hadn't had, well, now that I put mulch, I'm probably not going to have any pumpkins pop up in this bed down here. But I am getting to, ready to go out of town. By the time you see this, I'll probably be back. So, of course, I get the garden in. And Adon has to take care of it and the chickens, but I'll only be gone two full days, so I'll water in the morning before I go. Uh, and um, 
It's supposed to rain. Today is Sunday. It's supposed to rain Tuesday and I'll water tomorrow. So he really will probably only have to deal with Wednesday because I'll be back Thursday and can water in the evening. Oh yeah. I also, so when I get back next weekend, I still need to put in all the herbs and the flowers, but I got in all the stuff I got from the swap. So I've got some purple hyacinths, some spiderwort, um, I got some irises that smell like grape juice. Oh no, that's those. Those are the white and purple ones I got. I got some surprise lilies. I got some common milkweed. I got a couple other irises I put over here. The pretty purple one. Can't really tell anymore, but it had the pretty little different purples. What else did I get? I put most of it over here because I didn't have much over here. I planted my paper white that I think is probably dead. I forced those. Then my um, hydrangea is coming back. I planted the tulip bulbs that I got on clearance from Walmart back here. I don't know if they'll make it or come back or not. We'll see. But yeah, this space is coming along. Look at these irises. I don't think I've shown you these. Got, of course, the pretty focus yellow. And these are pretty much done, but they were light purple. And I have the pur pretty, like, creamish pink. And these pretty purple ones are like the ones up here. But these were more purple than the pink ones. If you like that one. So I'm going to have a whole, and they've spread quite a bit since I put them in last year. And I got some Creeping Jenny to try to creep. I weeded all of this, obviously, today. I'm just going to have to stay on top of it until it fills out and does its own thing. Gladiolas are coming back, back there. Oh yeah, one more thing. I painted, oh my lens is dirty. I painted the chicken coop, part of the chicken coop. I ordered an automatic door for it and I've got to find the welded wire that will fit across here because the three foot one did not fit the width of that. So. And I got a little latch for the nesting box area. I doubt a raccoon or whatever could lift this as heavy as it is. But I'm going to get a little latch for it anyway. And then we have to fix this over here. Because it was coming loose so I just pulled it out. So we'll have to um, nail that back. And then I had the wasp's nest there. I knocked that out, so I'm going to spray it out, clean it out a little bit, um, and then I'll probably put the welded wire across the top because there's quite a gap, knuckles worth of gap in there. That way they'll have some ventilation because the ventilation down here is in the run so I don't have to worry about that as much I don't know maybe I will just run some wire across that whole front part like I'll I don't know I don't know they should be old enough to move out next weekend Oh, but I don't know if it's going to be ready. We'll just see. Anyway, thanks for hanging out over these last couple of days. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.